be working. Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing this morning? How are we feeling? We're going to get started in just a few minutes here. So go ahead and get whatever you need for this class to feel comfortable. Right now I have just a mat and a blanket. So that's about all that I'll be using today. If you need any blocks or bolsters, pillows, whatever you have in your home, you can go ahead and grab that and surround yourself with things that will make you feel comfortable and safe and at ease. So, taking another minute to get what you need here. I'm going to make my way back to my mat and we'll start standing today. So, whenever you feel ready, we'll start um, standing up today on our mats. And as always, this video is um, this class is brought to you by Toivo, and Toivo is an initiative of Advocacy Unlimited, and so we're happy to be able to bring this to you today. So if you're still with me, then we'll go ahead and start standing, so finding your mat. Left foot down 
big toe. We can find our way down to the pinky toe and slowly down the side of the foot. And the heel makes its way towards the ground. And take a moment now to shift the weight into that left foot there. Feel where it is on your mat. Feel all four corners of the feet rooting, grounding down. And making any adjustments here, I like to start with my feet usually just as wide as my hips here. Bring the arms down by the side, the palms face forward. And I'm sorry you can't see my face right now. I'll take a step back. The palms are facing forward and we're coming into our mountain pose, this first pose of the day. Can we find our body's natural alignment? Can we make that little tuck of the tailbone, curl it in and under? Make that slight, ever slight bend in the knees. Draw the shoulders up to the ears on an inhale. Back and down on an exhale. Let the top of the head Reach up towards the ceiling like a string, pulling us up, lengthening the spine. Let the heart be open. Softening the gaze here, or even closing the eyes if you'd like. Deep breath in and out. A few more times like this. Breath in and out. We settling into this space that we are in today. And only this physical space and the space that we are surrounded by, the space that we are in physically, our bodies, but also our energetic and emotional space. Taking a moment to check in with how we're doing right now in this moment. And letting yourself be free of any judgments. Can we simply be resting in this awareness? How we're showing up right now, and there's nothing wrong with the space that we're at, with the place that we are in. This too shall pass. Letting the shoulders settle down, softening the knees just a little bit more. Together, one deep breath, You're really filling up the heart heart space there. Together we'll inhale. Exhale, let it all go. <sighs> nice big sigh up through the mouth. And we'll bring the palms and the hands onto the heart. And we'll just take a moment to rest the hands here. Feeling that soft touch. The hands on the heart. 
maintaining this moment to set our intention for this practice for this next hour here together. But setting our intention for the day, setting our intention for the week. Be an affirmation, words of kindness to yourself that you then in turn extend to others. Whatever it is that naturally comes to your heart and into your mind, that is your intention for today. One more inhale here together. Big breath in, fill up that heart. And now, drop the hands down by the sides. And we'll begin to just sway from side to side, ever so lightly. Feeling free and open, expansive. And the hands really gently Hit the body, front and the back of the body. This is very stimulating in the back of the body for our kidneys. And maybe we pick up the ski a little bit, bending the knees, maybe gazing over the shoulder. Whatever feels right for your body, what I am doing up here right now is just a guide for you. Finding our way back, standing ever so slowly, keeping slow. Bring the palms down by the side once again for mountain pose, breath in and out. Go ahead and bring the hands onto the hips now. We're going to step this right foot back, We're coming onto the toes, the ball around of the foot. So we're just going to make some circles with that ankle, moving through all of the joints here in the body. We get some motion and movement. First thing in the morning, we want to be really kind to our bodies. We want to check in and honestly assess where we're at today and how we're feeling. From that, from that acknowledgement, from that honest assessment, and we can move from a place of knowingness, just naturally knowing what is right for your body in this moment. And go ahead and shake out that right foot. Bring it back down to the ground. And we'll do the same thing with the left. Pick it up back behind us, starting to circle that ankle ever so gently. And slowly, I'll challenge you. I'm challenging myself to move slowly and to move mindfully. There really is no rush. No rush here. And again, just as I'm saying that to you, I'm reminding myself. practice, right? It's sometimes so easy. Sometimes it's not easy, but 
It often can be easier to give kindness and compassion to others around you, to the other people in your life. And then when it comes to ourselves, it can be really hard to give that back, to be that friend to ourselves. So if we can start by practicing that kindness, can be slow and gentle movement. We can move from that place of we are that kind and compassionate and caring person to ourselves, and so then we can give that to other people around us without feeling depleted or like we're not getting anything in return. We have to give that to ourselves first. And then we'll go ahead and shake out that left leg. Bring it back down to meet the right. And we're going to go ahead here. And again, my feet are hip width distance apart. And this is because, first of all, that's what's comfortable for me. And second of all, um, Having your feet hips with distance apart, um, having your hips in line, your feet in line with your hips here, um, it's really good practice if you have lower back issues. So, from this space, we're going to bend the knees, sit back like we are about to sit down in a chair. We're going to bring the hands right above the knees, and we'll just start to make some circles now with the knees. right switching direction of those circles. And then we'll find our way back to center. Again, the hands are right above the knees. You don't want to rest them on the kneecap. It's a little bit too much pressure. So hands are right above the knees. Press the palms into the thighs. Use this to help support you. And on our inhale, we'll move into a modified cat pose. In cat pose, inhale. The belly rises. The head and heart rise. And on the exhale, we press the palms into the thighs and so we round down to the spine, coming into that C shape. With the head and neck to left completely. The inhale, we begin to work cow. Arms in the back, lifting the chest, the head, the heart. Exhale, round. Keep shaking out very gently the head to the neck here. A little yes, a little no. And moving through these two movements at your own rhythm, at your own pace. Let your breath guide you, let your body guide you. Yeah, if you're all 
bones line, switching the direction of these circles. However big or small they are right now. Finding your way back to center. Let the hands drop down by the side. You can inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears as high as they can go. Exhale from the back and down the back of the body. Inhale, shoulders rise. Exhale, look back and down. One more like this. And then switching the direction. Inhale, shoulders so come back and up. Exhale, bring them forward and down. Standing. One more thing, 
understanding. All right, so I'm gonna move sideways on my mat here so I can model this for you. Let's see if this helps. So we're gonna move into a little bit of a flow here. So finally again that mountain pose, where we sort of start. Move into the side now. Tuck the tailbone in, release up and out to the front of the head. Feel the energy rising, running down to our feet and rising up to our heart. We'll use an inhale to lift the arms up over the head. And then exhale, we'll draw the hands down to the heart. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more like this. Inhale. Sweep the arms up. Maybe the gaze looks up to the ceiling. Exhale. Draw those knees back down to the heart. And now we'll add on this. So inhale. The arms rise. Exhale. Make sure that you have a slight bend in the knees. I like a little bit of a bigger bend for this first quarter pull. And we're going to exhale. Fold forward. Bend the knees, the hands meet wherever they meet, the ground, the shin. We let the head and the neck be heavy. Let the head and the neck relax. And we're moving into our rag ball, our first forward fold. So take this fold however you need to. It's our first fold of the day. I like to. Grab onto both my elbows. Sometimes it feels nice to rock from left to right. And like I said, don't be afraid to take a huge bend with the knees today. This is how I like to start by making a shelf with my thighs. Use that strength of your legs. It'll just let your body rest. Let your upper body rest. Helping yourself out, supporting yourself. And some full body breaths here, breathing into the back of the heart. So the back of the heart is that space right in between the shoulder blades. Can we fill up the back of the body? Feel the ribs expanding for the breath. Breathe all the way in between the shoulder blades. Big breath in. Hand out. Sigh, anything out here, let it go. <sighs> Very nice. And stay here for as long as you'd like. But if you're ready to come out, place the hands onto the shins. We'll straighten the legs on an inhale, we'll lift up. Find that our back is straight. Find that 90 degree angle. Hip flexion here. A few breaths here. We still have that slight bend in the knees. We always want to have that slight bend. No locking on the knees here. We have to protect our bodies. So one more inhale here. And see if you can find length from the top of the head to the tailbone. We draw that out, breath in. And then on the exhale, we're going to fold back down again, just for a second. Inhale, bring the hands onto the hips, and the same thing, a big bend of the knees here. Find that flat back, and with the flat back, we'll find our way all the way up to standing. Very nice. Taking a moment here. Once again, in our mountain pose, this is really where we come back to. Breath in. Breath out. One more big inhale here. Give it all you have. And really let all of that breath out. And so you don't have anything left. Good. Inhale, arms rise. 
intuitively and to move with compassion. We are not here to please anybody but ourselves. We're taking another minute here to explore. And in your own time, we will meet in child's pose. There's no rush to get here. We'll meet together here in this resting pose, letting the hips sink back towards the heels. And again, take this time to play around with your child's pose. Do 
Do your knees feel better, wider? Do you feel more supported? Happy the knees and the legs together so your chest can just rest on your own body. Explore and imagine what, what little shifts and what little changes that you can make to really adapt this pose to your body and to where you are today in this moment. any difference you need. Just spend a few moments here letting our body sink down to the ground. Let the hips sink back towards the heels. Let the shoulders soften. Can we wrap the forehead from left to right? Giving ourselves a nice Again, breathing into the back of the heart here. So over these next few moments, letting your body settle and sink. Yeah. 
back into table. Preparing to lift the left leg. We'll find all of that contact. So maybe come up onto the knee. At a very ever so lightly. Just come up onto the knee of that right leg. And then press the shin, the top of the foot, the toes down. And in your own time, shift the weight onto that right leg. And lift left. And again, there is nothing wrong with just lengthening out the left leg here and leaving the toes on the ground. You can stay like that or move to lifting that left leg up. And again, from the hip towards the heel, can you find lengthen that left leg, reaching back? Well, at the same time, with, our, with the top of our body, from the base of our spine all the way to the top of the head, can we find length and draw that forward while we're drawing the leg back? See that the hips are level, the right hip in the left leg. The right hip in the left hip. Engaging the core, using the strength of our arms to hold us up. And we're going to reach, reach, reach. Let's take one more inhale here. Lift up if you can. And then on the exhale, ever so mindfully, let that left leg come down. And we'll take a round of cat cow or hip circles here. Very nice. And one more round like this. We'll add in movement if you'd like. So find the left leg, pressing down to the earth. Inhale, lift the right. And you can always do exactly where we say. You can stay like this. So take a big breath in. And if you're coming with me, exhale. Draw the knee into the chest and turn down like we're moving into a cat pose. The knee draws the foot. Inhale, straighten out that right leg, find your way back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. And only two more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, draw it, press the palms away from the ground, so like you're creating length and space for that knee to come off the edge. Inhale, lengthen out once more. Exhale, the right leg come down, and again, something to integrate, hip circles, cat cow, tie up pose if you need it. Ah. All right, moving into this left side here, press the right shin. Feel that contact with the earth. Inhale, lengthen the left leg. Lifting up off the ground. We still have that flex of the foot. Breath in. And out. Draw the knee to the left. Inhale, reach it back. The crown of the head draws forward. Exhale, press the palms away from the ground. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last curl. You can do this. Keep it your breath. Inhale, extend that left leg once more. Exhale, drop it down to the ground. And let's find a side. Close here. Oh, good work, everybody. Take a nice little rest here. You deserve it.
Same here, child pose. Let's find your way up to a down dog. Tucking the toes, bending the knees, pressing the palms, kiss the back. Lift the hips up. This will be our only down dog of the day, so make what you need of it. Make it your own. And there is nobody saying that you have to make your way up into this down dog. Child pose is absolutely perfect if that is what your body needs right now.
lifting that back leg.
more. Inhale here. Make them out. And exhale, can you twist it a little bit deeper? Send your way back to center. Go ahead and lift out left leg. Hold on out to the left. Naturally. You can inhale to oh, lift the arms up. And then on the exhale, go. Sides here. Bring that left leg out. Flexing the toes. The right knee draws into the chest. Left leg. Come on to that left, left arm over the left leg. Inhale. Reach the fingertips forward. Notice the toes. Use that weight. Go ahead and hug the right knee into the body. Right arm. Off and back behind the dog, resting on that pillow or blanket, or just perhaps the ground helps to oh, support us in sitting up nice and tall. You take a big breath in to find room and lengthen up towards the ceiling, and then on the exhale, we use that length to see if you can twist the little bit. One forward fold all together, bring 
both of the legs straight out. And when I'm doing it, I like to do a really big bend in my knees here. And I also like my legs to be in the distance apart. Inhale, I'm sorry. Again, move towards a more traditional forward fold. Exhale, I fold on over my legs. Just sort of like you did earlier in that ragdoll. I let my head rest down into my knee. Breathe into the back of my body. Need more of a stretch in the back of the legs, my hamstrings. All you have to do is just scoot back little by little. Making yourself comfortable using blocks, blankets, bolster pillows, whatever you need. And taking Shavasana in whatever way feels good for you right now. Anything goes here, knees can stay bent like I have them. Place it out. Bring the soles of the feet together for a butterfly. And hands can rest down by the sides. You can rest on the belly or on the heart. Simply here to allow the body and mind to be 
And tomorrow from 2 to 3, Sarah will be teaching chair yoga. And on Thursday morning from 10 to 11, Leslie will be teaching yoga again. And next week, we will have on Monday, August 10th, two really special events. Um, we're going to be having a, a excuse me, <laughs> yoga brain. We're going to be having um, a live stream class at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and this will be a live stream from Kettletown State Park with Sarah and myself. And we will be um, videoing this class, uh, this yoga class. Sarah will be demonstrating on a mat and I will be demonstrating in a chair. Um, and this is a partnership between Toivo, the Department of Environmental and Protection, uh, Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services, um, and we will be talking about uh, how being outdoors and exploring these modalities outdoors um, is so wonderful for our mental health and well-being. And then um, at 12 o'clock on Monday, August 10th, uh, Terry will be teaching yoga, uh, bilingual yoga. So. Those are all the updates that I have for now, and stay tuned because all of this will be on our Facebook page. If you want more information, just reach out. It was so lovely having you today, and hopefully I'll see you soon.